Hi, I'm Keaton Lesman, and uh, I'm here with my friend today, and we're going to teach you a little bit about cells. Alright, first on the agenda, we're going to learn about the cell wall. On this guy, the cell, the cell wall would be compared to the cell body, and in the real cell, as you can see right here, the cell wall would be this outer rim part. Alright, next is the cell membrane, and this would be the car doors on the side can't really see that but these things in the cell they let things in and out of the cell to transport stuff and yeah people get in and out of the car and here's a picture of the cell membrane it's like around there all right next is a vacuole uh the vacuole is a gas tank in the car that's what it would be compared to because it stores the cell's food and the vacuole on this place, or on the cell, would be right here, which is this big storage area. Alright, the nucleus. This is what, one of the most important parts of the cell because it controls the cell and it lets, and it moves it and does, makes it go or do what it wants to do. And so on this, the cell, wall, the cell nucleus would be uh, the driver. And you can see the nucleus is this big red circle right there. Kind of looks like the Death Star. Alright, the nucleolus is would be the steering wheel inside this car. And it helps control the protein productions and it's kind of an aid to the nucleus in guiding the cell. And you can see it's like this little pink spot right there. Yep. And, uh, okay, the nuclear membrane is like a little... It's like a skin around the membrane, or around the nucleus, and it would be like the firewall in the car. Now in NASCAR racing, these cars go really fast, and uh, they can crash, and the engines can catch on fire. So what the firewall does is it protects the driver from catching on fire. Yeah, so the firewall would be like the nucleus because it lets things in and out. And it makes sure that the nucleus is protected. And you can see that right here. It's kind of the surrounding area. It's kind of etched out in black. Yeah. Alright, so the chloroplast is where it gets its food. And it makes its food. Like in a plant cell. Now, it, it would be um, phototrophic, I think. So it makes its own food. And so... That would be the gas pump. Now in an animal cell, they don't have these because they don't really make their own food. They get provided their own food. And these chloroplasts, you can see, um, it's these little green things. That's why plants are green, because they have chloroplasts in their cell. Alright, the next are the mitochondria. These are known as the mighty mitochondria because they uh, give it power. And those would be the pistons in the car. They would be around this area in the engine. And yeah, so it, it'd be the powerhouse of the cell, which, like, the pistons give this power. So, um, the mitochondria is, let's see, right here, this little red body right here and up here. Alright, cytoplasm. Now, the cytoplasm is a big jelly-like substance, and it fills the whole cell, and it's everywhere, and it keeps the thing it like helps move the things and yeah so it would be on the interior of the car um i guess in a car also the the uh, cytoplasm could also be kind of like air because it it's the filling of the car or you could just think of it as the interior like the sinks and stuff and the um cytoplasm would be all this yellow space in here surrounding the nucleus and the vacuoles and all the other stuff Okay, now the ameloplasts are the battery, it would be the battery in the car, or the storage cells. Be like, because it keeps the protein stored, like power. And so, yeah, it would be a lot like the battery. And the ameloplasts would be right here, these little, like, pink M&M looking things. Alright, next is the centrosome. This is the main frame of the cell. It'd be like the... It'd be like the uh, part of the cell that holds the rest of the stuff up, like the wall. 
And uh, it would be the whole frame of the cell, as you can see there, that holds it up. And so um, the centrosome looks like this, but really it's like the skeleton of the cell in a real life cell. All right, next is the rough ER. Um, this helps make the proteins. And thinking of a cell, many things help make the proteins other than just the rough ER and other things. And so this would be the spark plug because it helps make the energy. As the gas goes through, the spark plug's lighted on fire and then it combusts, which makes this car go. All right, next is the, oh yeah, and the rough ER would be um, right here. It's kind of like folded and it's all speckled and stuff. All right, the smooth ER would be the hoses and the wire because um, it helps transport things throughout the cell. So if our car was a cell, we need the, we need the, um, everything to go through. Like the, these needed to be connected to the battery, which gives it power. And yeah, all the, the hoses need, or the, uh, gas tank needs to be connected to the engine and so forth. And, uh, that would be right here. All right, the ribosome is, makes the protein of the cell. This is the big, this is the one that really makes the protein. It doesn't help, it actually makes it. And that would be the engine of the car. It's obviously right there. And, uh, yeah. So, the ribosome, you can see, uh, let's see, right here, these little speckles, little purple speckles. Alright, and last on our list is the Golgi body. Um, this would be the transmission of the car, because it exports the energy, or the proteins. And the Golgi body, um, it would be, yeah, like the transmission, because it takes that combustible, like, from the spark plug in, plug in the gas, and it changes it into so the wheels can move. And yeah, um, so that could be shown. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that very. Right. All right, and yeah, this is Keaton Lesman reporting from my basement, and this is my friend McQueen. For those of us who don't know. And yeah, see you later.